Hey everybody, it's Emma from Paint Pony Studios and today I am going to do a little mini tutorial on a leopard Appaloosa. But this isn't going to be just any leopard Appaloosa. This is going to be a mood ring leopard Appaloosa. So as you guys can see, and actually this is all going to be done without an airbrush. This is only going to be using a felt tip pen or a brush tip, brush tip, felt tip marker and a paintbrush. So hang tight because we are going to do some really cool stuff with this little guy. And this is the first time that I have been, uh, that I am using the materials that I'm using, at least the uh, liquid crystal, which I will go through my materials with you guys in a second. This little guy is a Briar Stablemate. As you can see, he has actually been brush painted. This is all brush painted. I did a quick primer spray of him probably a year ago. He's been sitting in my cabinet for a while, uh, but the Briar logo has been removed and sanded down. And this white coat that you see on him right now has all been hand painted with lots of really thin white layers. And then he has also been prepped with MSC, Mr. Super Clear, to make him nice and matte for me. Our other materials here, we are going to use a little bit of acrylic paint. So I use the Liquitex Professional. This is the heavy body acrylic, but I often thin it down with a little bit of water. Because this is a fantasy horse, I want some really um, fantasy details, hooves and everything. So he's going to have the iridescent silver for hooves and we'll see what color eyes I want to give him. But for right now, we have the golden acrylics. And then for the mood ring effect, this is Solar Color Dust's liquid crystal. It is heat sensitive. This is the sprayable type, but I have a feeling that it will brush on just fine, even if I have to put a couple coats on it. But this is the liquid crystal that will give us the mood ring effect and this is from solar color dust as you guys can see i am wearing protective gear i'm wearing gloves you shouldn't need a respirator to do anything like this but i'm also just for safekeeping putting the liquid crystal back in its bag for the moment but i have a reference picture of a leopard appy up on my screen and I am going to take out, this is a Prismacolor Premier pen. This is archival ink. See right there? Archival quality, acid free. So if you are doing small Appaloosas, I really, really like using these Prismacolor pencils. I often use these to block in spots on the big guys too, but on the little dudes, it is a lot faster than paint. I have like, there, for me, there's some kind of mental block with painting my spots right on. I would rather draw them on. So I'm going to go ahead and start on his Appy pattern. Now, the only thing you need to watch out with this is it will smear. So you need to be very, very careful that you only do one side at a time. And so after I get one side done, I'll take him outside. I'm going to give him a spray with our clear sealant. And then I will wait and do side number two until one is dry. But let's go ahead and get started on side number one.
So it looks like we have reached stage one finished with this little guy. So now the key is going to be to let these black spots dry. Give this a coat of clear sealant. And then we're going to come back and see what this looks like. So about partway through this guy drawing, I decided that I actually wanted these spots to have mapping. So I'm going to toss a little bit of a whitewash over this. And in order to do that, I need my little paint palette. You can see that I was doing this the other day. I have more Liquitex paint. So I'm going to go ahead and put a little dollop of this into my tray there. That's probably more than I'm going to need. This tube has last me, lasted me a long time. And I have some clean water here. Clean, I say, as it's definitely, um, all this has is in, in it is white pigment. So I'm going to go ahead and take a little bit of water on the brush like that. I want it to be very milky. I'm not going to mix this whole thing up. And then I'm going to go ahead and wash this over the existing spots. You can see that they're graying out. And now that I think this is looking good, now is going to be time to go ahead and start on our black areas. I'm going to start with the same brush that you guys saw me use for the white. I'm not even going to worry about necessarily thinning it down just yet. And I'm going to go ahead and start painting his face.
Okay, so as you guys can see, I've gotten to the point where I have done his tail, this black through here, a little bit in his mane, and then what I'm actually going to do with his mane is to blend it a little bit. I'm going to take some of the silver and I'm going to use it in place of a gray and sort of blend those in between spots just a little bit. Now, I'm going to get myself a little bit more black paint, and I'm going to go in with my teeny tiny brush, and we're going to darken up all those spots.
Now I think that I have gotten every spot. Looks like I have gotten every spot. So the next step is I'm going to go ahead and get his eye details in, his hooves, and then give him another clear coat. And then we're gonna come back in with the liquid crystal and mood ringify our Appaloosa. All right, so we are back with this little guy. As you can see, I have foam taped him to a box lid. I didn't have any spray can lids that would fit him. So we we're going with this method instead to make it easier for me to paint the liquid crystal on. And also if my voice sounds a little bit nasally, it is because I'm wearing a mask. This stuff does have a do not inhale label on it. And I'm assuming that that is for when you airbrush it specifically, but just in case I'm gonna be wearing a mask. I'm also wearing gloves, but I have also been wearing gloves this whole time. So this stuff is tan, as you guys can see. And I did find a smaller flat brush. And I'm actually going to just dip that into the liquid crystal. It's fairly thin. I may actually just pour a little bit into, maybe just pour it right back into the cap. Because I'm not going to need a ton. So. Getting some on my brush here. And this is the first time I've ever used this. So here we go.
Okay, so as you guys can probably tell, I have a coat on everything now. You can kind of see the effect. You can really see it on his tail. You can really see it on his tail right now. However, my hands don't typically make this stuff shift. So I'm actually gonna take the heat gun to it real quick. And you can see the effect ripple through. Right now he does have a blue tinge to him because he is rather hot. But if I touch him in certain areas, he should change back. I don't think this effect is going to look fantastic until after it's sealed, but I'm going to go ahead and let this dry completely. And then we will go out and put some sealer on him. So here's our finished product. He's been drying for about 20 minutes with his sealer on. And you actually can see the mood ring effect in the spots more than I anticipated you were going to be able to. Now, this guy is pretty rough, but for an experimental piece, I think he's pretty cool. Right now, you can see he's actually in his green gold coloration. But if I were to blow on him, get on blue, where my hands were warm or my, my breath was warm. So do I think this could be improved upon? Absolutely. Do I think this would look better on a bigger scale or a solid colored horse? Potentially. I do think an appy color would be absolutely fascinating on a a larger size, but the effect does work and it seals up very nicely. I almost wonder too if this would look better in gloss because I almost want to say that this effect would have a bit more of a striking look to it in gloss. However, he does look almost antiqued the way he is right now. He, he actually looks um, a bit like something that's aged. And I think that's super cool. And here's a little bit closer look. You can see all that coloration in the spots when they shift. But to get the full effect, you would probably need to take a hairdryer or a heat gun to this. And I do think that this stuff would be better sprayed on for a model horse as opposed to brushed. But I'm really happy that you guys went, uh, went on this ride with me, this big ex experiment. I think that this turned out super cool. Whether or not he goes up for sale, we'll see. Um, but I definitely plan on doing more with this liquid crystal in the future, especially knowing that it does uh, have the effect that it said it was going to. Like, that, that makes me really excited. So in the meantime, Pony Pals, this has been a really fun experiment, and I hope to do some more with you guys in the future. Bye. <laughs>